Yo, sometimes I love the people in my comments. Like, ever since this update with Spotify dropped, all the comments. This guy's bought and paid for by Spotify. Title's better. Everything else is better. He's such a fanboy. He just, everything is Serato so good. All right, well, let me be the first one to jump on right now. And I'm going to be dropping a video on some of the biggest issues that I'm seeing right now with the Spotify integration, which honestly, it might actually lead me to delete the Spotify um, integration and just go back to the way I was doing it before. Like before I would just use my aux cable, plug in Spotify and then run it. And then like a way that I would kind of keep track of requests is I do usually keep all of the requests for every wedding like i keep their playlist and stuff because i get a lot of um referral weddings where people come back to me so it's nice to have their playlist so that i can like grab music from it definitely like their first dance song i'm gonna play at some point but because i do that and have hundreds and hundreds of playlists these all now have to load every single time that I'm opening Serato. Um, so a workaround that I did think about um, was like maybe getting the family plan and then having like one playlist as being like, or one account as being like, this is my Serato account, this is my home account, but that really just defeats the purpose. So I'd like, I'm, to me, I'm thinking like, why am I even gonna continue doing this? Title, I didn't like that. You had to first pay for title, to pay for the integration, and then you had to like move the playlist over. So it did save a lot of time, but it wasn't enough where it was just like, this changes everything. Because like with Spotify, I can just play right through my controller. I'll just play off the Spotify app. And then as I was saying with their playlist, like I can delete songs as I play them just to like keep track because obviously it's not going to be blue in Serato, but I can just delete it off the playlist. And then, you know, that's that playlist just keeps crunching down, crunching down as I'm killing all their songs and stuff. So I don't really know what the future of that holds um, for me. And biggest issue is when you use Spotify tracks, it just crashes sound switch immediately. No warning, no nothing. You're just going to notice that your lights are just sitting there doing nothing. And then you say, what, wait, what's going on? Why is nothing happening? Because Spotify crashes sound switch. Um, I don't know whose fault this is. It's not really anyone's fault. It's just something new. I don't think that happened with Tidal though. Like when I had Tidal, everything seemed to work good. Um, I only really used Tidal for like three events. So I didn't give it um, very much time or use. Uh, but I did notice all these issues like my Serato is stuttering while it's loading everything for almost an hour and this really was an issue because at the last wedding I had I had like six different setup locations I finally get into the hut where I'm um, playing the dance floor so I open up Serato and like it's stuttering and then the bride is like where's my music I was asking for specific songs where's that and it's like it's loading <laughs> so I'm like uh, I'm working on getting your karaoke running I'm getting this running the wedding as a whole was just a mess so it was just like that just added another layer of stress to it so I, from here on out I don't really know if I'm going to be continuing with the Spotify integration um, I'm definitely going to use it at this event I'm going to load up everything before I leave and then hopefully when I connect to the internet like everything is good so let me know in the comments are you going to be using the Spotify integration have you seen any issues you can't move around the crates which is annoying because when I build my Spotify crates sometimes I do them in a wrong order like I don't know why I'll do late dance floor, but it's just the way that like the requests come on the sheet. I just start building the playlist, not thinking like, oh, I gotta think about this in the future because instead of just being able to move it around, now it's it's gonna be set in stone. Like this is where it is. So I gotta like now think about that in advance. And it's just a few things that I don't feel like I need to be doing and it should be easier. I know this is the very first iteration of it and it's probably going to get much better very quickly because that's how things are moving right now at the speed of light. Things are getting fixed. Um, but for this minute, like right now, I'm probably going to be doing my last event with it this weekend. I'm going to see how it goes. And then from there, I'll make my decision. But it's absolutely not bulletproof. I am not a fanboy. I'm not bought and paid for. I'm just reporting the facts out here. And the facts are in like, I'm not paying extra money for a DJ integration, not with Tidal, not with Apple. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. And thank you, Spotify, for coming through with this. We don't have stems, but who cares? Like everyone crying about stems probably don't even know how to use stems. You're, you're the guy who's like, 
dropping the acapella into nothing and then nothing is happening <laughs> so i don't know I'm, I'm gonna stop hating right now and we're just gonna look at serato um, i'm gonna show you guys how long this takes to load how you can't move stuff around i got my playlist built um and just let's take a look behind serato we got Serato open and nothing right now is loading just yet. So I, I guess it's taking some time. It's now 1037. Let's see how long this takes to load everything up. Also, it looks like it's loading this stuff first. That's probably the biggest issue. Like at this rate, I don't even want these playlists here. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be using that. Oh, this is pretty cool though. Like I can't hate. I already saw some of these tracks come up and I said, oh, it, these tracks are on here. And like just looking at this, this is a pretty pretty nice hip hop power set right here right now. So like I want to sit here and hate, but I also can't hate because it is killer. So here they all come loading in. Like look at all these playlists that I got, Kerrigan and Duff. Like Evan and Avery, these are this year's playlists. That I did that wedding this year, man. Where is last year's wedding? There we go. Teresa, Ezra, Graham. I probably only got three to four years where I started doing this, but there did become a time where like, I figured, you know, it is probably good to save everyone's music just for the, like, because I'm always going to have repeat customers. I always have referral work. I may as well keep these things. So right now we're only loading some of these playlists here. Um, they're here and this is exactly the one that messed up. So Maria Maria, here it is finally. Um, this didn't take too long. We're only like a minute in, a couple minutes in. We're still loading, which is good. Um, if I was playing music in the background, maybe let's load something up here. I don't want it to make any sound though. So how do I do that? Let's do this. It's not bad, probably because we're on my home computer, but even my MacBook Pro is just stuttering, stuttering. Like you can see it here, kind of every bar, you got some stutter going on. On my MacBook Pro, like it was not this nice, not this smooth, but on this computer, this is like, this is 50 computers in one. Uh, it's still stuttering. Like I feel like it shouldn't be stuttering at all, uh, but it is. Sorry, just gonna sit here, let this thing load up. Now we're really stuttering. Now while it's doing that, um, I don't wanna like stop the video and come back later. We're just gonna look through it. So like right here, I just added the special. When I do a folder or a crate called special, that just means like these are their special songs. So normally it would be like all of their ceremony music in line. I don't, I don't know what people are doing to mess this up. It blows my mind, but I make them all in line the way that they're supposed to be. Um, so you could sort it like this and that will put you back in the correct um, form. For this, they're doing like a, a waltz to start and then they're cutting it out and jumping the Ice Ice Baby. So I'm probably gonna do this routine um, live on Spotify, even though I do have the songs on my actual laptop. I'm gonna try it out on Spotify and see how it is. Uh, looks like we're almost loaded because, oh no, we got some glitches still. Um, but I'm gonna see how it goes. You know, what are they gonna do? They'll be mad at me for a couple minutes until I start playing and killing it. Um, it's nice that you got your like songs. That's pretty cool. Um, I would say the best thing about everything is that you got this sorted by BPM. And then when you load a track, like it is going to go blue. So, you know, you've played it as I was saying, like in Spotify, I'd have to play it. Then I will delete the track on Spotify. Sometimes that'll mess up the playlist. Usually it's not really going to do anything bad to it. Um, but it's just, I don't know. It's definitely, we're already like six minutes in and we're still stuttering on my home computer. So six minutes is a long time when, when you're DJing at a party and people are saying like, where's my song? Like the bride was saying, where is my song that is supposed to be on right now? Even though we explained to each other, we're running across, they saw me running down and there was like 800 flights of stairs, carrying speakers up and down stairs, sweating my balls off. She just walks in, where's my song? I thought my song was supposed to be playing right now. This doesn't sound, I, I don't think this is my song. And I'm just like freaking, I'm trying to get the, the karaoke screen working. She's like, I don't care about the karaoke screen. We're doing that later. I'm like, well, it has to be turned on now, right? 
I, I feel like it needs to be turned on now if you want it to be on later, maybe. But uh, either way, other than that, like you can't move around the crates, which is annoying. You can't, oh, you, I guess you can change the name. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Streaming playlist can't be edited. It is cool that I can actually edit within Spotify and have those updates work in Serato, but like, again, that's so small and it doesn't matter. That is not something that you can do on title at all. Like you have to reload the entire program. So if you added songs to the title and you, you can't find them for, for whatever reason, you have to literally shut down Serato and turn it back on. That is not of a, a, like, that is not something you can do at a, at a party. Like while you're literally in the party working, that's not possible. So it looks like now everything is loaded. I guess that was like 10 minutes. That's not terrible. Like that's not the worst thing in the world, but like 10 minutes in a live setting where you're 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 stressing out already trying to get things running. That can be a little not great. Um, but other than that, like it works. It's just got a few glitches and stuff that you can't do. Like the sound switch glitch, that's a big issue that they need to be working on immediately. Um, I'm going to assume that's a sound switch problem, but... Again, it's like it's no one's fault. This is just new technology that's coming out that they weren't built up for. Um, and then just like, you know, I don't want to go through all these playlists. Like, I don't, and especially like, I, maybe I can delete it. Let's see if I can delete this. No, you can't do that either. You can't delete the crate. So I don't want to be scrolling through all of these playlists when I'm trying to be DJing, trying to figure out what's going on. Like at that exact event, I found it was easier for me to just alt tab my way back into the playlist that I was looking for, the normal way that I've been used to doing it my, my entire life, go through and look that way. Normally I'd be hitting it here, loading it, playing it through the aux cable, and then I'll jump back to Serato whenever I needed to. Um, I guess now you can add effects if that really changes the game to you, you know? You can add some post fader effects. Um, but overall, I would give this like a solid 6 out of 10. Um, I'm no fanboy. I just, I'm out here preaching the news, preaching what needs to be done. Um, and it's great for what it is. I would never risk my life, uh, my, my career, anything on needing Spotify um, or any streaming service for that reason. Like you just, you need to have your own music. And this goes to show like, the, and, and who knows what could happen. Like things could crash. Spotify could just like stop working for some reason. If you're streaming all of your music on there, that's a very bad thing to be doing. Uh, but other than that, like we're good. Um, when it comes to those wedding playlists, like they're all here. I know exactly where they are, but they're not in, in order. They're not the way that I would have them. Like early dance floor, must play, late dance floor, dedications. It'd be nice to be able to move them around. It'd be nice to only bring, like what I would really like is just bringing in the playlist I want. But that would like how it is set up right now, I would have to have a new account and then transfer the music there. So really that's more work than I was trying to do that did not save the issues that I was having. But other than that, we are good to go. Like and subscribe if you learn anything from this video. I will see you on the next one. Let's go.